before we dive in, I just want to wish everyone happy holidays and hope you're having a great time wherever you're watching from. But today we're uncovering some major new updates to Cloud Code. For those who do not know what Cloud Code is, it's Anthropic's agentic coding tool that lives directly inside your terminal. And it's already been really solid for executing routine coding tasks as well as handling complex code bases. Now, things just leveled up because ever since Gemini 3.0 launch, the Google team has rapidly evolved their own CLI tool with many features like multi-agent support and LSPs. And that pressure pushed Anthropic to actually move faster with their development. And as a result, Claude Code now supports a ton of new powerful features, including LSP, which stands for Language Server Protocol. You have asynchronous background agents so that you can run multiple agents at once, higher limits, and so much more. So with that said, let's dive straight in. To start off, Cloud Code now has introduced a huge new update, native LSP support, which stands for Language Server Protocol. In the most recent change log, Cloud Code had added an LSP tool that unlocks real code intelligent features like go to definition, finding references, hovering through documentation, and having real time diagnostic. This is honestly a massive leap forward for Cloud Code because this extension, where you can access through the plugins, is where it supports LSP. And it means that Claude can tap into the same signals your editor uses to understand a code base. What happened before was that Claude would have to read through multiple files, run type checkers, and stick everything together with the error messages to figure out what was actually broken. But now with LSP, Claude gets instant diagnostics and it knows exactly where errors are. And it can jump directly to definitions and see type information in real time. This is also something that works better for teams because you can package your LSP configurations into a plugin and publish it into your internal marketplace. So instead of having each developer configure things individually, you can set it up for the whole team basically through this configuration. You need to make sure that you are on the latest Cloud Code version, which is version 2.0.55. And to access it, once you have configured your plugin, you can then access it using the slash plugin command, and then you're going to be able to access all of the LSPs that you had configured and created. Before we dive in, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Verda. If you're tired of US hyperscalers and want a true European alternative, Verda, formerly known as Data Crunch, is the cloud you need. New name, new logo, but the same mission. It's a privacy first zero based cloud that's built specifically for AI workloads. Your data stays secure, compliant, and fully in Europe. There's no cross border uncertainty, no vague promises. Verda keeps it transparent, where pricing is up to 90% cheaper than traditional hyperscalers. And this is with no hidden fees and complete visibility. What's nice is that Verda gives you an easy self-service access to the latest NVIDIA GPUs, including their B200 as well as the B300. With setups with high-speed GPU VMs, the Infinity Band clusters and bare metal systems or fully managed AI services. All of this is optimized for AI at scale. And you're never on your own. You have direct support from AI infrastructure engineers that help you optimize and scale your workloads quickly. Plus, Verda runs on 100% renewable energy, combining high performance AI compute with sustainability. Also, here is an exclusive offer for World of AI viewers. You can use the code World of AI25 to get $25 in free compute credits, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. No upfront payments, no credit cards required. Use the link in the description below to claim that. That's Verda, the European transparent, sustainable AI infrastructure that's built for builders like you. Next is where Santa Claus is here because the Anthropic team is gifting all Pro and Max plans two times their usual usage limit through New Year's Eve. This is where you have more usage than your usual amount and you're going to be able to do a lot more within Cloud Code. Another nice quality of life update is where you can now add context window information directly to your status line. You can use the status line command and you can customize what shows up. For example, you can ask Claude to add a progress bar that shows how much of the context window you're currently using in real time. This will be super useful because you can immediately see when you're getting close to your context limit instead of finding out after responses start getting cut off or degraded. 
It's a small feature, but it gives you more visibility and control when you're working with longer coding sessions. Also, if you are to use the slash stats command within this session of my account, you're going to be able to get a good overview of how much usage you had in different sections of the year. And it will also showcase the amount of sessions you had, current uh, streak, as well as active days. This is just a good way to get a good idea of your usage with Cloud Code. Next is probably one of the biggest features a part of this video, and this is where Cloud Code now has the ability to run agents asynchronously, where once you have an agent working on a main task, you can deploy a sub agent to tackle another task asynchronously. How it functions is really easy. You first initiate a task with Cloud Code, and you can just request it to, to do any task. And if you want to have another sub agent working in the background, then you can press control plus B and this will move to a sub agent executing a task and it's going to be allowed to communicate and share information simultaneously to the main agent. Now, as I was reading through the latest change log, I had noticed that they had reintroduced ultra think. Now, for those who do not know, ultra think is a special trigger word that you can actually access while you're using cloud code this is essentially to tell cloud code to use its maximum available reasoning budget meaning the system spends a bit more compute and tokens thinking deeply about your problem before responding and this is something that i really love to use because it is especially useful for hard problems when you want better quality as well and when you want it to create architectures working with unfamiliar code bases or intricate logical issues. So if I'm to tell it to build a calendar app, it is going to spend more time and it is going to be able to exceed the reasoning budget to get the best generation out of cloud code. And just take a look at the calendar app that it generated. Now, this is something that is really qualitative and you can see that thanks to the ultra think mode, it was able to reason and exceed the reasoning budget to generate a better looking app obviously but with more features and more creativity that is going to allow you to use this app in a better fashion obviously it spends more but still you're going to get the best generation out of it looks like cloud code is now on chrome so you can now test code directly in the browser so you can validate your work directly from the terminal to your chrome browser cloud can even see client-side errors through console logs, making debugging much faster. So you can try this out using the slash Chrome command. This probably doesn't even affect you, but I want to cover it because my channel is a news channel and you can actually now run Claude code tasks directly from your Claude Android app. You can run research previews. You can start a task from your phone and then let them run in the cloud. You can review, merge the results afterwards. This is a pretty helpful feature if you use these tools off of your phone. So it's now supported for Android. And if you want to get started, you can download it now today. A really, really subtle new feature is if you are to use Alt P, you're going to be able to select models directly. And you can now use this paper cut so that it is going to allow you to easily switch to different models mid prompt. Now, if you remember two months ago, Claude had introduced code skills or Claude code skills, and essentially it acts like a smarter coding assistant by loading reusable task specific modules. And that could include instructions, scripts, resources. Instead of guessing how to do something from a prompt, Claude can pull through different skills that it already has to consistently handle specialized tasks like analyzing data, generating images with certain models or following team workflows. And essentially it is so that you work a bit smarter, faster, more reliably with pre-custom plugins or skills, you can say. But what's new is that Claude recently expanded agent skills into an open standard. And it is something that kind of reminds me of MCPs. This ecosystem is going to let skills be shared and used across Claude apps, Claude code, and through the API, and it enables a partner built skill from marketplaces or other tools. Skills is now supported with different sorts of wide management and partner directories. So it makes it super easy to deploy them with various sorts of workflows and teams. There's also a new cloud code integration with Slack, and this is where you can now delegate tasks from Slack directly to Claude, moving context from conversations straight to coding sessions seamlessly which is a really helpful feature for teams who work off of Slack. In this way, you can easily have a better workflow running. 
Also, a new GUI dropped. It's called AutoClaud. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just something that I saw could be beneficial. It reminds me of Van Kanban board, and you can essentially have multiple tasks running asynchronously with this new feature that they launched. And it is going to showcase a UI of it running in different areas. It is a standalone app. I'm not affiliated with them. It just looks like a really helpful app that you can use autonomously with Cloud Code. Now, there's a lot more features to this new Cloud Code update. You can see that they have been meticulously updating a lot of features in the background. Like the asynchronous update was something that not everyone actually knows about. This was something that you would only know about it if you were to read the changelog. So I highly recommend that you read through all of these new small features. I also recommend that you follow this user here. He is one of the uh, community members at Cloud Code, and he has been showcasing a lot of new features on a daily basis. May not be big, but these are small updates that showcase what you can do with Cloud Code and with these new features. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on Cloud Code. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. If I had missed anything, please leave it in the description below so then I can create a condensed report for other viewers to actually see what I had missed and that way they can catch up on the things that I hadn't mentioned throughout today's video. I'll leave all these links there in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos. Also, another note, happy holidays. Please stay safe. Have a lot of fun, guys. Make sure you guys are not trapped indoors. Try to spend some time with family as well as getting away from the screens. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.